Welcome back to Trends and Friends. I'm joined by Megan Weed from Beef Loving Texans. You always come with delicious food, and you've brought a little bit of a twist from a regular classic turning into a holiday classic. So talk about what you're making today. So today we are making these holiday mini beef uh, meatball skewers. Okay. Um, so meatballs are one of my favorite things to pop into the oven. Oh, 100%. It's simple to make. So let's get started with this recipe. So we're going to use a pound of lean ground beef. Easy. Zucchini. Okay. Grated zucchini. This is a great vegetable you can incorporate into your meat. Kids don't know it's there. Maybe your husband doesn't know that it's there well, or listen, why. Listen, zucchini is my favorite, <laughs> so I mean, I don't see a problem with adding it in. We're gonna I feel like it's making it better. We're going to do an egg just to keep it all together. Okay. And then a little bit of salt and pepper. Easy peasy. So just mix it. Like I said, you can also get your kids involved in this type of dish. Well, and kids love getting their hands dirty. Yes, so they do. So this is lots of fun for them. Um, and so prep time seems pretty quick with this it lovely is. recipe, which I think is every so parent's favorite thing. All we're going to do is create in little bitty balls so you can do the size that you want. So we're just going to do this. Okay. And then you're going to put it on to a little bamboo skewer. Easy. And then you can do it with um, bell pepper and onion. Okay. But and then you'll just alternate them. So okay. then do some more meat and some onions. You can do red bell pepper, butternut squash. Okay, I like it. So something really easy. You don't have to have a grill to do it because I feel exactly. like normally when you think of skewers, you're like, oh, I need a barbecue grill. You just throw it on the pan. Do you need to line the pan with anything? Or? No, you can just put it like it is. Okay. And you're going to put it into the oven at 400 degrees for about 20 minutes. Easy. You can put an internal uh, thermometer in and it will need to read about 160 degrees. Okay. And uh, then, of course, you have this delicious side that you've included along yes, with it so to make it is, even more holiday-esque. So this is perfect for if you want to do it instead of your main meal, you can do it as an appetizer. Okay. And you're going to serve it with a whole can of cranberry sauce. Okay. W mixed in with barbecue sauce. Easy. So a What's little bit the of ratio? Of flair. So you're going to use a whole can. So it's about 14 ounces of the whole cranberry and about three tablespoons of barbecue sauce. Easy, and but I love it. you can get the full recipe at beefloventexans.com. Perfect. Thank you for showing us this Thank very you. fun recipe. And as you mentioned, great appetizer option because we know everybody's having holiday parties coming Agreed. up. So make sure to check them out, beeflovingtexans.com. And of course, stay tuned. We'll have more Trends of Friends after the break.